Hello. For England and Wales, it was the wettest March since 1981, but that, of course, followed a very dry February for those areas. And now April has begun. We're flipping back the other way once again with higher pressure now in charge, that high sitting to the east of the UK, helping to weaken the influence of these weather fronts in the Atlantic and slow them down, but not entirely keep them out of the way because these will influence and bring some rain to much of the UK during the middle of the week. For the time being, though, Tuesday starts off with that high pressure in charge and plenty of dry and bright weather across the UK, eastern Scotland, into England and Wales. Sunny skies to begin things, but a chilly start with a frost in places, minus three Celsius in some of the colder locations. Now, for western Scotland and Northern Ireland, we're going to start the day with cloudier skies, frost free here, but some outbreaks of rain occasionally edging into the western Isles, the west coast of Scotland, the far west of Northern Ireland. Mostly this is light and on and off at this stage. Nevertheless, it's breezier to the northwest and it will feel cooler as a result, 10 to 12 Celsius. But with light winds and sunshine elsewhere, very pleasant indeed, 14 Celsius the afternoon high in many spots. Now, the rain to the northwest gathers pace into the evening and overnight and uh, pushes more widely into Scotland, Northern Ireland, Northwest England, and West Wales by dawn on Wednesday. That means it'll be a frost free start for many, although some clear spells towards the southeast will lead to a touch of frost here. But for many, Wednesday's a cloudier day. There will still be some brightness in the southeast, 15 Celsius possible as a result, but elsewhere, a band of rain making its way across Scotland and Northern Ireland into northern Western England, as well as Wales by the afternoon. This will be persistent for a time, a few hours of rainfall, but it does move its way eastwards. However, into the uh, Thursday morning period, there's some uncertainty about how much a small scale circulation develops around these fronts as they cross the UK, a little low pressure. and if this happens, could hold back the rain or even return it to eastern parts of the UK during Thursday and also pep up some showers elsewhere. So Thursday could see some further wet weather feeding back into eastern Scotland, northeast England. Showers developing across central and southern parts of the UK, Northern Ireland as well. Some lively downpours, perhaps some thunderstorms in places. In between, some brighter weather emerging, especially towards the west. And uh, some sunny spells into the west could bring temperatures up to 14 or 15 Celsius, but feeling quite chilly actually where we've got the rain feeding in to eastern Scotland and a breeze off the North Sea, although there is some uncertainty with this aspect of the forecast. Either way, that's out of the way for Thursday night and into Friday. This dip in the jet stream there, driving the low further away. And the jet stream in general, a bit more loopy compared with what we saw through March. And as a result, we've got these weather systems which are slower moving. And that means that things do tend to dry up by the end of the week and into the Easter weekend, apart from a few showers and a bit of extra cloud into the east and southeast. For the vast majority, it is looking dry and brighter once again. And with those sunny spells coming through, 16 Celsius possible. Perhaps the warm spot being South Wales where we get those uh, sunny skies. But actually for many, it's looking like a cloudy picture on Good Friday. And into Saturday as well as Easter day, Really, this high pressure over Scandinavia will dominate. It's going to bring an easterly breeze, which will bring quite cool conditions to the east coast and rather cloudy skies at times, perhaps the odd shower as well. But for the vast majority, actually, it's looking generally settled. A lot of fine, dry and bright weather, the best of the sunshine out towards the west. That is until later in Easter day when a few weather fronts will try to make inroads from the west and could bring some rain to places by Monday. So that's something we'll uh, keep you updated about. But uh, certainly the weather looking more settled as we begin Easter weekend compared with March this year.